College football is a lot like a playground. And each of the conferences are like all the kids playing in that playground. You got the big bullies, like the Big Ten and the SEC dominating everybody else. Pretty much being the respective leaders, and also everybody kind of fears them a little bit. Got the other big kids that are doing relatively well for themselves, but are not as dominant as the big two. Those are pretty much the rest of the Power Five, now Power Four conferences. The Pac-12 is the guy that just moved away. And then you got other people that are doing well for themselves, like the group of five. But what if I told you that there was this one kid who came up with all the best ideas and even generated some of the top colleges that we see today? Yet they're not one of the kids that gets all the credit, no. They're one of the forgotten kids at the playground that you just don't ever see anymore. That, my friends, is the Missouri Valley. The forgotten conference that almost everybody in Mid-America went through. Today, they are the subjects of this video. And I will give you a detailed history of this conference and the massive effects they had on college sports. Despite never having a single team in their conference win a national championship. At least that's what Wikipedia told me. Now sit back, relax, and watch Crispy Maps talk about the history of the Missouri Conference. Now, the Missouri Valley is one of the oldest conferences in college football. In fact, they are the fourth oldest conference in college history. In fact, the only major conference that is older than them is the Big Ten. The Missouri Valley was founded all the way back in 1908 with the founding member schools of Nebraska, Drake, Iowa State, Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, and Washington University in St. Louis. Now some of these schools started as non-football members, some of these schools started as only football members, but they were all a part of this conference and agreed to play one another. Now, as you notice, most of these are pretty large schools. And they began as the name of the MVIAA, also known as the Missouri Valley Intercollegiate Athletic Association. Now, this conference held steady for a few years, although there was a lot of chaos coming up in these next few decades. The first thing to happen was Iowa left in 1911, only leaving the remaining schools to just kind of stick there. But then came Kansas State, coming in in 1913. Then a tiny little college called Grinnell came in in 1918. Then Oklahoma came in around 1919. Nebraska left for a year, then rejoined all the way until 1925, nothing happened. Then Oklahoma State decided they wanted to throw their hats in the ring. And now we come to 1928. This is when the conference essentially splits, having all the large schools that you normally hear quite a bit about go off into their own little conference, which eventually became the Big Eight, all the remaining smaller conferences, Drake, Washington University, Grinnell, and Oklahoma State, along with newly joined Creighton, all decided to form the actual Missouri Valley Conference. This is what you're going to see for the next several decades now. After 1928, Butler joined in 1932, but then left in 1934. Tulsa joined in 1934 and would basically remain a member of this conference for almost all of its remaining history. The tiny little University of Washburn in Kansas decided to open their doors to the Missouri Valley in 1935, while St. Louis joined in 1937. But in 1939, Grinnell decided to leave to a land where I've never heard of this college ever before making this video. So probably they pretty much died off. The conference remained steady for a few years until 1945 when Wichita State decided to join the conference. 
And then, in 1948, two colleges left, Washington University and Creighton. But they would come back later on, as you'll see here. In 1948, too, the uh, school of Bradley joined, and they'd pretty much be part of the conference, say for like three years in the 50s, would basically remain part of the conference until the, today. And then you have Detroit and Mercy joining in in 1949, Houston joining in 1951. Then Oklahoma State decided to leave in 1956. And also, I can't forget about Drake, who essentially left the conference in 1952, but joined back in 1956. In 1957, Detroit left after a very short stint, and Houston also left in 1960. And if I forgot to say this, probably did, Washburn left into obscurity in 1943. Again, a lot of chaos here. Just try to map it all out. All right. Cincinnati joined 1957, as well as North Texas. Eventually, Louisville would also join in 1963. Memphis would join in 1968. However, Cincinnati would leave in 1975. And St. Louis would leave in 1974. In 1970. Proper, New Mexico State would join, West Texas State would join in 1972, and Southern Illinois and Indiana State would join for pretty much the rest of the conference's history in 1975 and 1976, respectively. Also, Creighton joined back into the mix in 1976, although elected not to have their football program join, like a lot of these other colleges. Pretty much normal. Again, a lot of these couches are like, but just turn off and on their football programs. Just something to mention here. In 1980, Illinois State will join this conference. Another school that will be part of this conference pretty much until present day. Now we reach a very crucial time. 1985. Technically, nothing happened to the conference proper. No schools joined or left in this year but instead of the conference split into two different conferences. Not by different schools leaving and whatnot, but by sport. Basically, the Missouri Valley decided to disband its football program, leaving all the colleges to basically make a duplicate conference about this football program. So I'm gonna go off on a tangent and talk about them for like two minutes. Then I'll get back to the actual conference at hand. But just know, football, Missouri Valley, and actual Missouri Valley are different conferences. Essentially, some of these schools didn't really have much of a football program to begin with, so they didn't really care that the Missouri Valley stopped sponsoring them. But the colleges of North Iowa, Illinois State, Southern Illinois, Missouri State, and Indiana State would come together and form the Missouri Valley Football Conference. Just note, Missouri State and Northern Iowa would actually not join the actual conference until 1990-1991, respectively. However, the other schools that joined included Eastern and Western Illinois. Western Kentucky joined the football conference in the 90s and then left. And then eventually, North Dakota State, North Dakota, South Dakota State, South Dakota, Youngstown State, and Murray State would all eventually get added to the football conference, but not the actual Missouri Valley non-football conference. This football conference was initially named the Gateway Football Conference before it just rebranded itself to the Missouri Valley Football Conference in the 90s. Now going back to the actual conference that isn't football, you got a few interesting things happening. Like I said before, Missouri State and Northern Ireland joined in 1990-1991 respectively. Evansville, Indiana joined in 1994, and nothing would really happen until 1996, until Tulsa left. Afterwards, you got Loyola Chicago joining in 2013, Wichita State leaving in 2017, the same year that Valparaiso decided to join the conference. 
Also, Creighton leaves the conference in 2013 to join the Big East. Just something kind of accidentally skipped over. Nobody's perfect. Especially somebody with this type of audio. And then lastly, in 2022, Belmont, Murray State, and the University of Illinois Chicago all join in 2022. And if I haven't mentioned the school leaving, that means they haven't left. All right. That is all the schools that have came and gone through the Missouri Valley. And hopefully, the little diagram in the video did a better job at explaining this. Because, although I explained this the best I could, a lot of stuff happened. The Missouri Valley has had a very chaotic history. So many schools joined. So many schools left. That me just simply going chronological order would basically confuse most people who didn't decide to uh, rewind 10 seconds a couple times. And thank you all for staying to the end, if there are any of you there at this point. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, well, support more content, like, watch my other videos, subscribe, and thank you very much. And lastly, stay crispy.